Hi guys, it is a cold December's day. I've got the Mark III Mondeo in front of me. This Mondeo has been absolutely faultless, but the lights are really poor quality. I'm gonna wait till night four and show you how bad they are. But um, basically, this lens doesn't look too bad, but this lens looks incredibly yellow, dull, misty almost. I'm gonna see if I can clean those up and I'm also gonna upgrade the bulbs and show you the difference. So it's proven to be quite difficult to record how poor these lights are at night. But um, that's dip beam. And dip beam is where I've got my problem. And that's main beam. So I guess if I keep the camera on the same settings, I keep the car in the same place, I replace the bulbs and clean the lenses, and if I can see the mound of the soil in the middle of the field from the exact same space, then I guess they've improved it. Well, this is the first headlight removed. If you were just cleaning up the lenses, you probably wouldn't remove the whole headlight unit, but it's easy enough on the Mondeo. Um, in all honesty, I think these lights need replacing. So the back cover clips are broken. I'm gonna have to drill something here, I think, and put a cable tie through. Uh, the rubber seal, it's deteriorating. Yeah, as you can see, they're not great. But I'm working with what I've got. So I've got the 800 grit on a flexible foam pad. I'm just going to keep going in the same direction all the way along. So in turn, I spent about five minutes with each grit. I used 800, then 1500, then 2500, and then 5000. The 5000 would have been overkill for definite, but I've got it, so I used it. I am now gonna find some plastic polish, give this a polish up with a microfiber cloth. I'm gonna fit the new lamps, repair the backing, and fit it to the car. Well, I really wasn't getting anywhere hand uh, polishing it. I think it's just a little bit too cold. So what I've done is I've got the polishing wheel with a pad on and I've just used very uh, a very thin amount of G3 uh, cutting compound. I'm going to do it again and then I'm going to polish it. So I've really wet the paste and I'm just going to go over it very lightly again just to cut it. Then I'll dry it and then I'll polish it. Well guys, I've replaced the bulb. The H7 is the big one. Uh, that's a H1. I don't know why I had it in my head that it was H4 and H7, but um, I don't need the H4. They can be sent back. And the H1 is on order, so I may as well upgrade that as well while I'm on it. So you can see a huge difference between these two lights. I'm now going to get this one off, wait for the H1 bulbs to arrive and also wait for the UV wrap to arrive as well. It's kind of like a clear film that goes over the top of them. Yeah, I'm going to get this one cleaned up. Okay guys, that is both of the headlights cleaned up to the best of my ability. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to fit the H1 bulbs, the H7s are already in. I'm going to then repair the backs, drill a hole, put a cable tie through the back covers to keep those in place. I'm then going to apply the UV wrap once I've cleaned the lenses with isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth. Not sure how I'm going to get on with this. There's not even any instructions, but I'll have a play. Let's see how we get on. The new bulbs are in the lights. Um, all the backs tidied up on the lights. I was just going to apply this film. It's not the stuff that I uh, expected at all. This is made by Kimis, K-I-M-I-S-S. -S. It is way too thick and it's sticky backed as well. So it's going to be a nightmare applying it to those lights. 
I'm going to see if I can find something else. If you know anything else that you've used, the water application stuff would be great. Please do post below and I'll fit that another time. But now I'm going to get the lights fitted to the car and wait for it to go dark. So you're going to give me a hand with these headlights or what? A thousand worms. You're not having a thousand worms. You can have ten. Ten worms. All right, 15, deal. Get the screwdriver, come on, let's go. That's the headlights fitted to the car, and I've got to say, I am quite impressed. They do look good. Hopefully though, they will, they will improve the quality of night driving. So I'm gonna wait till nightfall now and see if we see any improvement. Well guys, the car is in the same position as it was the other evening. Uh, it hasn't moved for the last couple of days. The camera might be in a slightly different position. I never thought about the camera position at the time of recording. Um, this is dip beam and it's such a huge improvement. And this is main beam and this is where you really start adding gains I reckon. Obviously I'll know better when I take it for a drive but yeah, I'm pleased. I'm just gonna say thank you for watching. If you can recommend any of the UV protective film, please do post below.